I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering. Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Guys, this is so exciting for it me. Is. This is a good one. We are doing a deep dive into the bear, which is the television. The on FX. Hulu. Well, it's an FX Hulu series, and it's most of us have seen it on Hulu. Okay. Yes. So if you don't have Hulu, is it on FX? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, good. So those of you that don't have it, you can watch it on FX. It's about a restaurant. Yes. Which I had my doubts. This Guys, is the I second was season. Because this is not Lisa's thing. It's really not. And season I'm one, tell you, she's like, you need to watch The Bear. And I look it up. I'm like, why are you even, why, what, what? It's really, it's kind of not my jam, what I would usually watch. Mm-mm. It's very intense. It's gritty. It's gritty. It's almost frantic because it, it, it really it's, it's manic it, it really portrays restaurants i've never worked in a restaurant i don't have that background so i i mean i can imagine you know such a timed thing mm-hmm. you have to get stuff out quickly and everybody's rushing around so it really is good at portraying that it just yes. puts you right in the middle of that so you feel that anxiety frantic manic feel i don't know so everybody can't take that because my one son was like that's too much for me (laughs) he tried it it was like "Mm, you know know." i'm gonna say this you gotta get through season one episode four because i was like i don't think i can do this i don't think i can do this i don't think i can do this but then you get so sucked into the characters and you want to know what's gonna happen and and so then then there you go so just to give you a little synopsis it is about a restaurant the main protagonist is carmen they call him carmy uh Berzato is her last name so he is a gifted chef and he takes over this family restaurant after having a nervous breakdown in new york he worked for like a famous chef yes a four-star restaurant yes and he had all the accolades and all the things and just kind of had a meltdown so he's well that's part of it that's some of it the uh, his older brother commits suicide he had the restaurant originally yes the older brother commits suicide so now carmy has taken it over so that's where we that's how it kind of opens yes with so um Originally, it serves those Italian beef sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You guys know that Chicago's famous for. But because he is this renowned chef, he's trying to kind of turn it around and add some new things. And um, we see him struggle with that. So I don't know. I fell in love with Carmi. We don't know his story at first. It's a slow burn. You really don't get to you the don't, story until season two. In right. Yeah. You don't know really what his story is other than that he's taken over this business and right. he's trying to turn it around. There's some people that work there. There's a cousin and I use cousin in quotes yeah. that works there. There's some other people. They've worked there for years. So yes. they, they are a little family. A very, very long time. They're, yes. they're a little family. And really, the tagline for the bear for me is um, friends as soulmates. Because it's yes. really a story about friendship. Yes. And your chosen family. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. When you have a fucked up family and a lot of dysfunction. Yes. So it was just, it's, it's manic as hell. Okay. So at the beginning, just buckle up. Maybe don't watch this right before bed. Like I did, because then I had to keep going. Cause my, I, I was work so you. anxious, it you a little bit. but then as it starts to unfold, you see either yourself or individuals who you love or have known in your life. You, you kind of see pieces of them in this. Especially if you have a dysfunctional family, which I think we all do to some, to degree. some degree. Yeah. This one is kind of 
an extreme, although not well, <laughs> well, extreme, but not uncommon. Not There's uncommon a lot at of all. Children of alcoholics, so, yes, that have dealt with this. Yes. But one, the thing that struck me about Carmi was, despite his past trauma, both family trauma and professional, he's kind. He is. He is, and he is determined to cultivate a kind environment. Yes. 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 And I love that about him. Yes. I love that. He's quick to apologize, yeah. quick to say I'm wrong. I missed it here. I This was messed up. And I love that about his character. Now we are all mad at him right now at the end of how season two. A little bit. Ended. But, we'll, but, but, well, we'll talk about it when we get yeah, to Claire. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about it. He, there, there's a reason behind it, but we love Carmi. Now, Sydney, what do you think? Now she is, Carmi hires her kind of as a sous chef. Yes. But she later becomes his partner in Correct. this new endeavor, them trying to revitalize or the, revamp. Right. The restaurant. The, the and she is, she's really sweet. She's an only child. Her mother passed away when she was very young. Yes. So it's just her and her dad. But She's a sweet girl and she speaks truth. She she's she was the, a character most like me. And she's the voice of reason. She is. Like when everything is melting down, people are doing crazy shit. She's the one that says, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> this is not quite right. This, does this make sense? To we you? should do this. Right. And and so I love that about her. Yeah. She's she's very sweet. Really she is. sweet girl. She plays in some other things. She and does. You, I I struggled her. to pronounce her name, unfortunately, but I have seen her before. You've seen her. She, and I was like, oh, that's her. Things, but we love her character. Her first name is Ayo. Okay. Edebiri, I believe, is her last name. But I, I it's this I don't, is a great do part for her, baby. She, she kills it. it yes. You you believe it. You just believe it. Yeah. So Natalie. Brizado is Carmi's sister. Sugar. Sugar. That Sugar. is her nickname. <laughs> Which is cute. And she's like an accountant, isn't she? Correct. Is that her? That is so that is her day job. She's kind of helping them stay on track. She she's really not in it at first. No, no. But she just they, loves Carmi. Yeah. They've lost their brother. Him. She yeah. But then they urge her to be the accountant. Please help us. Please. So then she comes there and works and whatever. She's married to the, a sweetheart of a guy. Oh, we love him. Peter, who evidently Peter did not grow up in a dysfunctional family, no. <laughs> but he Peter's loves family. them and is so non judgmental. Like, just yes. loves them. Because I think if I was in it, I, some of them I just couldn't do. Yeah. Like, y'all, uh-uh. I think he loves her so much and he sees the beauty in her. I think he has that. He, it, if this is where this wildflower came from, I have to love it, right? Because yes. she wouldn't be who she is if she didn't come from this. And I love her, but baby, Pete is so fucking normal. And and, and I'm not saying boring. Note that I'm saying normal. My kind husband and boring. I have a very a similar. Bit, kind a little, of boring. She a needed bit. it. But that's okay. Boring her, is cool. It's sometimes. cool. Her, Especially when you have a lot yes. of dysfunction and her, yes. chaos. Yes. Boring is way. That's cool. what you want to come home yes. to. And so he's so normal, but he he reads the room. He knows how to help with the temperature for her, and and it's it you you it becomes even more important as the show goes on, where you're just like, oh shit! I love his love for the mom. Yeah, respect it at, at the very least. I, I'm gonna I say really, he has a know, respect for her. Just the mom is an alcoholic, a hot um, mess, and y'all. you know. A lot of the trauma and chaos stems from her. We don't know about the dad, but the mom certainly yes. is. Oh, <laughs> she played the hell out of that She's role, y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay, Richie. Oh, baby, daddy. Richie. Yeah. Is, now, this is the cousin, the in quotes cousin. Right. Because he's, he's not blood related. He's not blood re related, but he was Michael's friend, the brother that committed suicide, the older brother. That was his best friend. His best friend. And he worked at the restaurant with him and he's just down for the family. They kind of took, took him in. We don't know his story, but you know, it had to be pretty traumatic where this dysfunction is it's a somehow better, better. Right. Right. And that's where they are. <laughs> I guess they fed him. 
that might be a you know step above. I don't know, but I love seeing his growth. And you know what, I. I liked him before he got his shit together. I don't know. It, I think it was the loyalty. It was like, yes. I, I I could deal with some of his dysfunctional shit because his heart was really in the right place. Always he just, right. Oh, man. Always right. But the way he grew, baby, by the end, I was like, you want two kids or three? Like, <laughs> I love so Richie. so cute. So handsome. He is. He is re- and then at the end, he starts wearing a suit. So he really <laughs> looks amazing. <laughs> he did. And this was a really cute thing. Carmi, before they're, you know, so they close the bear down and remodel and do do stuff. So he sends everybody, all the workers, everybody, kind of for classes almost. Mm-hmm. Like just, mm-hmm. you know, expose He's, them to different sends, things. He sends a few of them to culinary school. Yes, Maybe or not class. Maybe to the degree that, that he went to. Yes. They did go to a culinary school. Or just to work under somebody for yes. a few weeks. And even front and, of the house. He right. he sends them to these like world class restaurants. Um, he sent one guy to Copenhagen, right? Which, with the I pastries, mean, which chef, you know, of course, he's was a pastry so chef, cool. so that was my jam. But Richie, he sends to this whatever star very high end restaurant. Restaurant, and first he Richie is so mad about it, like how dare you? But then he just the people love Richie. He comes to love them. Yeah. And he learns so much and takes such pride. They show him yes. how to take pride in your work. Yes. And, and this is, this is why we do this. And they instill that in him. And it's so beautiful yeah. to see. And he, he starts he takes to it see back. it from a different perspective. He takes it back yeah. to the bear. And baby Richie is, he really was the glue at the end. He really and he was. was so chaotic and manic. And at the beginning, he was the total opposite almost. But at the end, he was team. Let's get this shit together. Let's do this. And, and you're Richie like, is okay. a hustler. I have always said hustle <laughs> yeah. does more for you than degrees. Oh, and, and, if you ain't got no hustle, but if you got hustle, baby. Yeah. And that's Richie. Richie was a hustler. Hustles get yes, stuff was. done. Yes, he was. And that's what I, I love Richie. Yes, I agree. Okay, Uncle Jimmy. Ooh. That's um Oliver Platt plays Uncle Jimmy. And I love him. And Evidently, we're thinking he's the mom's brother. Yes, that's that's our. We're that's trying to we piece think. the family. They don't yes. just come out and say it, but he actually is blood related. We think he's the mama's brother, and he's normal. <laughs> as far as we <laughs> he's can as tell, normal as he can be, he's pretty normal. So he's married and kids, and you know, but he comes around, and he has money. He has. Yes. He's very successful. So when they need things, they go to him. And he, as far as he can, he always helps him. Gives him shit about it, but he yeah. helps him. Yeah. So he kind of, like Sydney, he's the voice of reason yes. with a lot of things. Yes. But with them kind and of. And he's, he's kind of the guidance that they need, honestly. The father figure. Yeah. The, yeah. Well, the parental, because the mom can't The mom is a hot, y'all. We're going to get to that. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Michael. Michael is the older brother who that's owned the restaurant originally. Suicide. Yes. But in the show, they do a lot of flashbacks with him. Yes. So you do get to know him, even though he's gone. Yes. Once the show begins. But they they flash back and you get to see him. You get to see him. He's very handsome. And very handsome. Hard. He just was he was struggling because the mama was crazy as hell. I mean, I just But uh, he tries to protect and look out for his younger siblings. He does. He is down for he his does family. His best. He looks out for Richie. Yes, he does. So he's kind of typical older. He is. Kid, he's very oldest, typical older trying sibling. Trying to make everything yes. okay. We don't. Did we see an interaction with him and the mom? They didn't really show. Yeah, they did a little bit. A little bit. A little. Bit. I mean, they were. And in he the was. Room. He was. Bless his heart. He was crumbling. He, he really was. He was. He was crumbling. So he dies by suicide. We don't know. They haven't shown like if it was a particular situation that happened that, that no, propelled him to that. We don't know. They didn't say that. They do say how he dies, but they, they didn't say. We haven't seen a flashback where it's like, this is the day it yes, happens. Right. But right. Lord, just the, just the flashback they give. It's pretty intense. It's, it's so intense. You think, well, okay. Yeah. So Marcus is the pastry chef. Yes. And his mom 
is dying. Yeah, she and, fell and sick about four years ago. We don't know what's wrong with her. Something but she's very debilitating. Yes. He, she's in a long-term facility, you know, and he he's so faithful. He goes and sees her, talks yes, to her. Mom, yes. this happened today. It's it's kind of heartbreaking. It is. Really. When he goes to Copenhagen, he even calls on her schedule, time zone wise, so that she can hear his voice over the yes, phone. Yes, it's so sweet, y'all. But he's this big teddy bear of a guy that yes. makes these gorgeous desserts. Yes. Beautiful. Even before he left and went and studied. Yeah. He was, this he was other still doing some cool chef. stuff. He was doing cool stuff. But now, of course, he's come back and they're just over the top. Yes. Amazing. Which, of course, guys, you know, that was my jam. I was like, okay, let's oh, yeah, get with the it. Cake. Yeah. Yes. Everything. Anything yes. pastry. Yes. So that's really cool. Yeah. And he and Sydney have had a few little moments. They have. So we are hoping... You know, these shows, they never give it to you right off. No. You know, there's got to be a struggle. There's got to be nothing and, happens. And, and in her own right, Sydney is struggling. She is. She so. is. Because she's wanting this to work. And her dad, because she's an only child, because of course he wants the best for her. Right. And restaurants a lot of times do struggle. They don't always make it. So he's worried about her. Well, and she... A little of her backstory, she did open and it took off too fast and she could not keep up and she she crumbled under the weight of it yes. and she moved back home. Yes. So I think, you know, if you're watching your child have anything that resembles a nervous breakdown, you almost are team, okay, let's do something else that's more safe. Right. And right. so, and then he's already lost his wife. This is it. So, you know, and parents he, think about retirement and, yeah. and health care and yes. all the things that you need to think about. So that's what he's trying to get her. But in the end, he's so oh, proud. Oh, he's so and proud he, and amazed. And he really yeah. thinks it's going to go. So th that was a, a great Ooh, little you did thing. say probably the best for last. Uh, okay, Claire. Oh, yeah. In the second season, Carmi has a girlfriend. She was, she went to school with him or something. They went to high school together. And they meet at a, meet up again at a party and she always had a crush on him. Now she's a physician and they get together. And it's lovely. It is it is really lovely, but he kind of blows it up. It, it's a self-sabotage thing. Yes, yes. The uncle did make a little comment about, you know, you need to really buckle down. This needs to be your only job yeah. and only thing that you're doing for a while and make sure it works. You know, kind of that little pep talk, right? Um, so but he's in that feeling same conversation when he was like, you know, I, I have a girlfriend. The uncle says it. He's like, you know, the, they're just not right. used to him doing that. And the uncle's like, shit, that's the best news I've heard from you all right, day. Right. So it was like the uncle spoke to what he was used to with Carmi, and then it was like, oh yeah, um, I've kind of got a girlfriend. <laughs> yes, but the good thing with Claire because she's a physician and she's still doing her residency so it's it, she's not full-blown she's got a ways to go mm -hmm. and you know that's a very intense thing yes. you know they're they're on so many hours and off so many hours so she understands what you have to do to to make stuff work yeah so i think it, it's not like a regular person where you right. spend time with me and i i need so many hours and whatever she would get it like oh, you, you you have to do your thing and and they came up with the name together remember she was like, because it wasn't named, the restaurant was not named The Bear before. It was named something else. Like it, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. And she goes, I do know the name. He's like, there's no way. She's like, oh, I remember. And he's like, do you really? I know. I think it was The Bear. Maybe he was going to change it again. And she said to keep it. I don't know. I think because it's mm, always been, I I'm pretty look. sure. We'll look. Yeah. We'll look and post. Yeah. I think it was The Bear, I think. And they just kept the name and maybe they were going to change it. I don't know. But we like her love but she overheard nope, the original beef that's oh, what it was was that it okay yeah. so the, it was it was named the oh, original Brizado. Brizado. Their, Brizado. their their name yes. means bear yes i think yes. so that's where it came from my bad um so anyway she hears him saying i i don't deserve mm -hmm. a girlfriend i don't deserve to be happy i don't deserve i don't deserve so he's having a meltdown and of course that hurts her feelings. Yeah. And, and he doesn't know thing. he doesn't know that she's there, y'all. It's right. Now right. you just gotta watch. She's gonna give y'all that. But she just overheard. But you know, he does deserve happiness, and we want Carmi to be happy. But we need a little tension. So, you mm -hmm. know, that's what happens. 
Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis, y'all. Ooh. This was a surprise. Nobody knew she was in it. They kind of did a lot of cameos at the the um the second the, the, season. The second season. So she plays the mom, Donna Brazado, the alcoholic. And you know, if you grew up in a dysfunctional house, it doesn't have to be an alcoholic, just any kind of dysfunction. You know, sometimes there's people that you got to walk, you're walking eggshells around them. Yes, and, yes. you know, you don't know what's going to happen to set them off. And that's her. That yes. is her. Yes. So all, all three of the kids, they, they know the mom and she's in there cooking and they're an Ooh, Italian Lord. family. And they, you know, the, the seven fish, which is a Italian tradition. And she's doing the big dinner and they're they know they know it's coming yeah so they're walking on eggshells how how do we keep this together they even go outside and have a little meeting right they're pouring out her alcohol trying to hide it and do things of course yes. she's still you know she's got it and it's it's a shit show Guys. <laughs> it turns into a shit show and it it was one of the best episodes in a series that and i have best ever acted. seen Jamie Lee Kurt girl, Baby, she, if she don't win no award for that, I don't know. Stuff she rolled my fair. ass like a two dollar hooker. <laughs> I, I'm watching it, and y'all, I'm I'm like having a moment. Like I'm rocking back and forth. I mean, it is just it's and, so and, intense. And spoiler alert: that's very much so my family. Yeah, it, it, I, I mean, it I don't. Is. And I so don't I'm looking, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, Lord. There's some things that I was like, ooh. And then Michael, the the older brother who has, you know, he's committed suicide in the present, but this is a flashback. So he's there. I the felt dinner. his pain that, you know, that oldest sibling, you're, you're trying to the protect loss of your control. Yes. That's what it yeah. is. Cause they old and we're both oldest yes. kids. So yep. we know you want to control everybody. And, and you're trying your trying best to keep it together. You're, he just he loses gets his into it shit. I don't know who y'all, they called people uncles and cousins and, and they might not be. Yeah. So this uncle, I don't know. know. First I thought he was the mom's boyfriend, but then it kind of rings like they at least at some point was doing each other. It, uh, it, kicking yeah. it. But I, but yeah. then, oh. then not so much. I don't know who he Either was. way y'all. They got Jamie into Lee it. Curtis, baby. I, and she now, wasn't even there when they got into it. She's, in, yeah, having she's, her own she's having her own meltdown. Though. I've been a fan of hers, but this was just one of those moments where you're like, don't you typecast Jamie Lee Curtis, oh baby, because she, she played, played the hell. Yes. And you know, um, <laughs> Jamie Lee is so good about transparency yes. concerning her body and aging and yes. things. And I mean, I think she looks great for her age. And we are, we are of a similar age. I don't so, know what they you know, did, but she, but they, like she was hard. As, they yeah. amplified it. They did. They really did. And you know, people that smoke and drink, they don't age well. Right. So they kind of did something Maybe and she, she really was holding that wine and smoking. I said, this bitch oh, is about to blow. You've seen, you've seen people like that, that, that smoke and drink. And, and just that real hardness manic, chaotic just, angst about them. Just a hardness yeah. and a like, <laughs> and she had it down. <laughs> She had, yeah, it you know, I, which I'll makes know, me think she's seen it. Yes, yes. Well, she, she, maybe she studied it for the. She role, might have studied it for the role because she she, she killed she, it. She I'm somewhere. watching this, y'all, and I'm like, why the fuck did Lisa set me up? It was like, really I mean, I'm watching. Intense. I'm rocking back and forth, and it's the. I I have a friend that's Italian, and we kind of joke that like it's very similar to Black culture. You know, you had this big shindig, and everybody's airing out their shit and yelling and, and everyone has to be louder than the other person, Loud. funnier than the other person, harder than the other person. It, it's, it's, oh my, it, it, there's it some was similarities. There's some, some, and then, you know, like we kind of grow up, oh, that's uncle so-and-so. Oh, wait, wait, that's just your uncle. Like, well, how, you know, so that I, I just got it, but boy, I'm talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. I, I just was like, the whole thing was so Ooh. well acted. Like, Sugar, the sister, Sugar. she's always asking, yes. you know, are you okay? Very much so nurturing the right. girl, she's the trying daughter. To, what do you yes. need? Like, what do you need to keep <laughs> and they it tell together? Her, Sugar, stop don't, asking. Don't ask for getting okay. Well, does she look okay? I'm just, I'm just asking. Listen, Sugar, Natalie, Nat, look at me. <laughs> Don't ask her again if you're if she's okay. And so she's trying so hard. Mom, are you do I not look fucking okay? And it's just like, okay, I'm Our sorry. Dog blows up. <laughs> it, it, Who it, was the cousin? Cousin Michelle. Um, um, I gotta look her I up because I love I, her. Um oh, what's her name? Oh my god. 
Trish. It's okay. I'm going to find her. She is the mom's sister. Yes. So I think she, the she's mom the mom's little sister. And Uncle Sarah Paulson. Yes. Uncle uh, Oliver Platt. Yes. <laughs> Uncle, I think they are siblings. Uncle Jimmy. Yes. I believe they are siblings. That's. I think I've pieced that together. Do you agree? You think? I, I just read. We something. don't know. I read something that Jimmy is one of her childhood friends. He's not even really related to them. Really? That's what I just or, read. Or he could be the dad's brother. He too, could be. We don't, he could they be. don't say anything about the dad. But, but cousin gone, Michelle, cousin, cousin Michelle, who is Sarah Paulson, who y'all know is phenomenal. Yeah, she plays in everything. She, she did. She her. did really good too. She was a great really believable. She is the mom's younger sister. Okay. And she's there with her husband, who is John Mulaney. That's who plays her husband. I love him, and he's so funny he, in and this. The and whole show. Do you do you think her cousin? You think her husband's gay? So she, all hell breaks loose. He has to pray over the food. He's clearly not into that, and he's like, "Oh, okay. Well, you know, I just want to say I'm not gay. Like all of you've been asking, <laughs> we've been together for years, and I'm not. But anyway, um, so God, Mister God, how do I do this? And she's like, "Just go, just keep going." It was, it was so, so good. funny. It was so But you did. You had the villains. You had the crazies. You had the people the who wanted to heal. And stepped into karma. Yes. You see how he gets to New York. Because that's where the aunt lives. Yes. And there in Chicago. She, she begs him, like, please you come, come with here. me. And yeah. I, I can kind of set you up with a restaurant, yada, yada. Kind of to get him away from the crazy. Yeah. That's really what she yeah. was trying to do. It's good, but, y'all. you know, if you have trauma like this... You take the crazy with you. You do. Which is what he did. And it's a whole it's thing. It's a whole thing, but it happens. Y'all, please. This, one, please, this, is, this is definitely Please watch it. watch it. Yeah. We're warning you, though. It is a little gritty, frantic, and, yeah. and, and anxiety yeah. filled. You may need a funny chaser, but I'm going to tell yeah, you, I fell so in love after. with the characters you do that I, I had to know what was going to happen. And there are people, you know, they're you yeah. or people, or you people know. that, you know, yeah. And so your heart goes out to them. In and you, situations. you may be Pete, you may be normal and came from normal, right. but you know, you, you know, know, some, some you know, some sugar. We all know some crazy. Now, you know, Pete, uh, I think that was the final episode. It, 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 the, the season finale of season two was just amazing. It, it it was relatable on all fronts. You're rooting for them. You want it to work, but you're also like, this is madness. But there was some foreshadowing. The episode that's really famous, Jamie Lee Curtis actually just posted about it. It's um, called Fishes. Okay, that's, that's the, the dinner. That's the mm-hmm. name of the episode. Well, she she starts saying, I don't know if you noticed this, but she kept saying, I'm just going to go out there and fucking kill myself. You, no one appreciates me. You're never going to notice. I'm oh, just going to, yeah. and she just kept saying it and saying it and saying it. And then right on the other side of the wall, you have a child that is really just grappling. And so she kept like kind of signaling, like shooting herself. And crazy enough, that's what, that's what happened. And they say how many months it's been since the brother died. He died not long after that. Okay. And well, so he, you can see him losing. He, he was breaking. Like he he was, was crumbling. Bless he his was heart. Coming. Yeah. You, Unglued. You can see it. But I highly recommend four thumbs up. Yes. It's amazing. It was. So you guys watch it. Let us know what you think about it. Get sucked into it. And like we did. please do. Up next, our picks for the sexiest man alive this week. But first, a message from our sponsor. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. This is why we are sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. 
So many people use BetterHelp that they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. That's betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. Okay. I mean, it's this is going to be real on brand. I don't think anyone's going to be shocked. But who did you pick? Well, I've already I gushed. picked Jeremy Allen White, who is Carmen, the, the main protagonist. He, he's he got the most gorgeous blue eyes. I know. Doesn't he? No, I mean, yes, he, they do. He, and they're very he does. soulful and, yes. and something about him. They just suck you in. And he and there's another show I'm watching, um, The Crowded Room. We might talk about that another time on Apple that's got Tom Holland, but both of those characters elicit such pity and compassion in me. I don't know mm, what it is. Okay. I look at them and want to mother them. Yeah. Like you just see his pain Lord, and, we, his, we saw his situation. and his <laughs> angst and, and, and just something about it. So, and he's, he's adorable, completely not appropriate. <laughs> is he really that young? I'm, oh, look at him. Yeah. No, and he's my kid's age, but I'm going to get out of my lane for a little bit. He's oh, adorable. he's younger than me, Lisa. Yeah, he's young. He's 32. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Kid, my kid's age. So it's not, <laughs> you know, JK, not like a real crush, but just he's yeah. really cute. Yeah, he is. He yeah. is really cute. Yeah. So mine, guys, you already know, it's Richie. Richie I, I love Richie good. dysfunctional. I love Richie when he got his shit together. Now. In the interest of me not butchering it, his name is Yvonne Moss. I think it's Backrock, but you can just Google Richie, Richie. and you'll you'll Richie. see him. But now an easier one. He also played David Lieberman on The Punisher. I don't I don't know if you ever saw The Punisher. No, okay, never mind. Well, that no. so that He's, is uh, and in that suit. Now before the suit, I'm gonna be honest. Richie just wasn't doing it for. Oh, me. he did it for me. But the <laughs> suit just put him over the top. It it just meant he could do it for me two ways. That's all. <laughs> I had variety. I had variety. variety. I could, I could, I could switch up the fantasy. That's all it meant. Yeah. Okay, loves. Thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free for Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Audio Podcast Network.